Welcome to BIMS TV. I'm Lashanti Jeff, and this is BIMS Bites. And today, I'll be biting into the Queen Kunk. The Queen Kunk is one of the most iconic marine creatures in the Bahamas, and one of the tastiest too. The Bahamas has one of the largest populations of Queen Kunk in the wild today. The Queen Kunk, also known as Allergigigas, has actually gone a few name changes in the last few years. Its original scientific name was Strombus gigas, then changed to Labatus gigas, and now Allergigigas. It is one of the true kunk species. The queen kunk is considered a marine gastropod mollusk. It looks a lot similar to snails that we see on land, as you can see in the picture below. The queen kunk is a herbivore, meaning it eats plants, which is algae in the ocean. Queen conch, when they are young, live in seagrass beds. And as they get older, they move closer to coral reefs. Let's take a look at the anatomy of the queen conch. The shell that you'll see on a queen conch has been with it its whole life. Similar to our bones in our body, the queen conch grows its own shell. It gets calcium carbonate from the ocean around it and then uses its mantle, which is in the shell, to secrete this calcium carbonate, growing its shell over time. It has two eye stalks, just like I said with snails, that come out of its shell when it wants to look around. It uses its mouth that has a tongue-like feature on the inside with spikes called a radula to scrape algae off of rocks and other substrate. It uses its foot or a perculum to hop around the sea floor by sticking that little spike into the ground and using all of the muscle in its body to push up and move forward. It's actually quite a sight to see. Because the conch grows its shell its whole life, we can use this shell to tell its age. Let's take a look at the life cycle. Conch do start off as an egg mask and spends most of its life cycle on the sea floor. Not shown in this is once a conch hatches, it's tiny microscopic larva that we can't see float around in the sea, which is known as the water column. Once they have reached an area they think is really nice, they will settle on the sea floor and begin to grow their shell. After about a year, as you can see in this picture, it is a juvenile with its very own shell. After about three years, it becomes a subadult with a thin flared lip. At this stage, it begins growing its flared lip. So the lip begins to curve upward. At about three and a half years, once this lip begins curving, it also starts to get thick. We know that a conch is an adult and fully grown when its lip is about 15 millimeters thick or the thickness of a penny when you hold it on its side. Once they reach this age, that means they're old enough to reproduce and make babies and start this cycle all over again. In the Bahamas, we love to fish for conch and this is one of the many food that we like to eat in our country. So if you ever get a chance to visit the Bahamas, make sure that you taste some of our yummy queen conch and you can take a bite out of it yourself. This is a picture of a sub-adult in some shallow water so if you have any questions about the queen conch, feel free to contact me with any of them. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please follow, like, and subscribe. Until next time.